Hi, so today we're going to have a look at some of the um, ways to do uh, the IT sets, a bit of active learning or outdoor learning, um, so we've come outside. Um, just as a bit of a way to just engage our pupils in kind of different uh, methods. So what I can suggest is come out into the playground and we've drawn a big uh, chalk outline of Africa. So you can do this loads of different sizes. You can get um, the pupils to do small ones on their own or you can do a really big class one that's even bigger than this. Um, so what we've got is we've got our Africa. Um, and down with the hook, so we've got just using a rope for our ITCZ. Um, this is quite useful because it means that we can like move it around, we can stretch it out. Um, so we've got a hook where it simulates, goes around, and our ITCZ, then we can just sew up a uh, model that coming up, drifting up, and drifting back down. And where this is quite good is we can stretch it right out, so normally it would curve around as well as it gets further away from the maritime trade winds and into the continental uh, and match up there um, we get less water. What you could also be really good with this is if you did a really big one and you got a lot of pupils you could actually get them to be the ITCZ and get them to move backwards and forwards as the, the, the season change from June through to October and then back into January. So that's one way really good, good way of doing it. Another way we've got and why a good way of reason to the outside is that we can actually simulate the rainfall as well. So, as I've discussed before, the ITCZ brings a lot of hot, tropical, heavy rainstorms, and they always come in from the maritime trade winds coming in from the sea. So, starting in January, when the sky is high overhead in the equator, the rain starts to fall out in the sea. And then as it goes into like March, into spring, the sun comes up, we start getting it hitting the coast where the ITCZ is, it moves up again, and then each of its equinox in June, but it's only there for a short time before it moves back down and then back out to the sea. So where we've got this and where this is really good, it's focused down in, it really highlights the fact of that the trade winds come in and come back out and that if we look here we've got A, B and C, we can see that A has worn away a lot more than B and that's worn more than C. And this really highlights the fact that you get really strong powerful winds as they hit the coast. The less and offices get to B, less skins get to C. But equally, as it goes up and down, A and B are getting hit twice, so we're way away a lot more. And just doing this outside, it's another way to engage pupils, and just a really good way to like bring in a lot of different parts of the curriculum. I uh, hope that's a good idea and helpful. Thanks very much.